Star Wars just has so many really interesting locations and rooms and buildings and spaceships and everything just looks so cool and futuristic and really like clean and neat and then there's also the more grungy versions and then there's the Death Star trash compactor which Lego has made an entire set on. <laughs> Now, while the Death Star trash compact is definitely the, mo the most glamorous of locations, it's one that I am actually pretty excited that is its own Lego set. I really wanted a Death Star for many years, despite when they first came out and I first saw them. I didn't even watch Star Wars, so I don't know why I quite wanted it. I just saw this really big globe and I was like, that looks cool. And that's really the only time we've ever really seen the trash compactor and it's retired and it was too expensive and I missed out on it. So this is a pretty welcome addition. I mean, the trash compactor at the end of the day is a pretty Pretty notable scene from A New Hope, it's pretty fun, it's pretty interesting, so I'm not surprised that LEGO did want to make a model of this, but there, there are some things that I don't like about it. But this is set 75339 and has 802 pieces. Now this is where my problems kick in. This set retails for 90 US dollars or 150 Australian, and for that price I would expect a working trash compactor, which while this set does have a compacting play feature, I want this to compact my trash for me at this price. That is insane! I mean, yes, in my case I was very fortunate and LEGO did send this to me, but I cannot recommend anyone spending their money on it because this set just feels incredibly small. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, the model itself I think looks incredible, at least from the front. I think it's incredibly realistic. I mean, look, it's brown and sludgy, just like the movie. But it also does come with six minifigures, two of which are incredibly detailed and brand new versions of figures we've gotten a hundred times, and that is C-3PO and R2-D2, which in my case are very welcome. It also means I get a Stormtrooper Han and a Stormtrooper Luke, which I love. Chewie and Leia, I've already got, so I really don't care that much for, but it's a model that I don't have in Lego form because I don't have the depth star but 150 Australian dollars for this. The IKEA shelf I'm putting it on was less than that so I mean it it just doesn't feel like there's a lot of value here and like I said for that price, I want this to compact my trash, which is exactly what I'm going to try and do with it. I want to see if this Lego set will actually compact some trash because it's expensive. I want it to at least, you know, serve its purpose, at least in its name. Now, I also don't want to make this set entirely dirty, so I'm not going to use things that are like super like juicy or just like gross, because like I do want to put this on display. I don't want to keep it clean, but I do want to compact my trash. Alright, so I have spent a couple of days sort of gathering trash and honestly a lot of it is very similar trash. I've got a ton of sort of foil easter egg things of variety of sizes. I have a Kit Kat wrapper. I also thought I would utilize the bags from the various Star Wars sets themselves and use the Lego little plastic bags that we've got here. And I've sort of tested it out and the trash compactor actually does have a max out point. So in order to get it to hit the max out point, I've had to move this little lever up. You also sort of have to bend and maneuver this little like tube here in order for it to close all the way. Sometimes it did get a tiny bit stuck, but that is the max that it actually compacts. So I'm a bit skeptical of how well this is going to compact my trash, but I think it might work a little bit. <laughs> I'm starting to think that for my $150, um, probably could have just bought a, a fancy bin from Bunnings Warehouse. All right, so let's get compacting some trash in the trash compactor. And as you can see, we can't really compact too easily. This sort of like little stringy thing does get in the way, but that does connect to both sides. So I don't want to remove it. And as you can sort of see the range of motion here with the trash compactor, it is pretty good. But as you can see, there is some blockage just because of the way it's built. So I'm interested to see how the trash actually compacts in here. I don't think it's going to do all too well for some things. I'm hoping that it does does better for some more than others, but let's test it out. So to start off with, I've got an empty Marvel Studios CMF packet, some Easter egg foil, as well as a Kit Kat wrapper, a small Lego bag, and some more sort of Easter egg foil. I don't really want to pack it in there because I don't want to compact the trash more than the set will, but there's the little first batch that I've got, and let's try compress it. Oh, this actually, it's actually blocking it. It won't, I mean, this could be that one string. So just to be sure, I'm going to take that out of the set, reload all of the trash, 
and try again to see if it actually will compact it. And if I move both sides at once, yeah, not really. <laughs> We're not doing it. I mean, we can sort of crush up this one piece of foil here. It's kind of working. This small one has actually been compacted. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. All right, let's try this bigger foil packet again. I mean, maybe this is the reason why this set was released at Easter. All right, well, we're not getting any better than that. So in terms of tiny Easter eggs, you're all good. I mean, probably a good thing this set comes out after Easter because it is not good for crushing up your leftover Easter trash. Round two, I wanna throw in some more Easter egg wrappers just to see sort of how this turns out. Same with some small ones. We're just gonna throw all of that in there and compress. I mean, I can feel it doing something, which genuinely kind of surprises me. I mean, I'm glad, but I'm telling you, for $150, this is not a very good trash compactor. Now, unfortunately, paper Lego bags are not too readily available unless I was to go and buy some new base plates. So we're gonna have to try and crush the good old plastic ones. And I just think that this is probably just gonna pop out of the trash compactor. I don't think this could actually work. Just does nothing. These plastic bags will still take up as much space as they did before. So as expected, this Lego set is um, pretty falsely advertised. I don't believe that this is an actual working trash compactor, which is a shame considering the price that they are charging for this. But I mean, at least it looks pretty cool. At least it can sort of compress. I think I've broken a piece out of alignment here, whoops. But then at the same time, I feel like this would look quite awkward on display considering you've got all of these sort of empty sides here, but at least it's all tied off so it does look pretty nice. But yeah, you can't compact your trash. So for that price, just, just wait for a sale. I really don't think that this set is going to be worth that full price. It's awesome. It's got great minifigures. I love the design of C-3PO and of R2-D2 and they do look great. And they probably do account to a lot of the cost, but I feel like just looking at the set and thinking about the price, it feels incredibly underwhelming. Just the volume of the set, it doesn't take up much space. It's not very tall. There aren't many super special or unique bricks in any way either. The pieces are pretty stock standard. I mean, I don't think it's anything special. You are much better off waiting or even just buying the figures if that's what you're interested in. So that is the Lego Death Star Trash Compactor. For that price, I mean, you know, I'd hope that there are six minifigures. Honestly, I wasn't expecting six. It's very welcome, especially for an 18 plus set. But I think at this price point, it certainly needs it. I love the printed tiles. I love the design of this set. I think it's a pretty cool location to do, but that price is horrible. Just wait for a sale. It is gonna be a Walmart exclusive, and I imagine it will probably go on rollback in other countries. I don't know if it's gonna be a retail exclusive. I assume not, but I would probably just check your Lego store. I mean, it's always gonna be on there. I would wait for May the 4th. Don't buy this and let you see you're getting something extra as a bonus, because this price point is just ridiculous, and while, yes, it can actually compress real plastic trash, it's a stretch, which is incredibly unfortunate because this is a really, really nice model. If for some reason though, you do want to pay full price and pre-order this, I will leave an affiliate link down in the description below for lego.com. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.